What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. I hope everybody's having an excellent week. Normally, when Woody Johnson talks to the media, it's a mess. He says stupid things, or there's cringeworthy videos, like during the draft, when he's talking to the players, trying to be one of the guys, or anything else. But today, maybe Woody Johnson has finally opened his eyes and is becoming an NFL owner that actually realizes that his team has been one of the worst in football for the past decade. So normally when Woody Johnson asks about playoff mandates, he's always like, you know, he never really gives that. Maybe happening behind the scenes, but the message to the fans has always been like, listen, I just want to see improvement. I want to see progress. We have increased expectations. But today he said, I'm not a patient man. I want to win now. Welcome to the party, Woody Johnson. What do you think the fans have wanted for the last decade? All your fans that have paid their hard-earned money week in and week out over the years and getting no return on his investment, on their investment. And now you kind of think that Woody Johnson is probably saying, you know what, I got to spend all this money on Aaron Rodgers. I got to spend all this money on free agents. I'm spending all this money. We better friggin' win. And he, maybe he realizes that, you know what, you can't actually keep justifying losses and keep justifying trust the process and keep justifying, justifying rebuilding every year. That he actually, this team has to win, man. It's been 12 years. I think, I think once the Kings make it, the Jets will, be, will have the longest playoff drought in all professional sports. So, I mean, we most of us thought going into this year that it's going to be make or break for Salah where they've got to make the playoffs. This is before the Aaron Rodgers stuff, but the, the, this team has to make the playoffs, man. You, you can't have a promising run last year, lose six games in a row, then come back this year and not make the playoffs. At some point, your program has to work. I mean, Salah said this program is too good to, to fail. And hey, something like something like, he said like that. So Woody Johnson came out and said, listen, I want to win. And this team is literally all in. They're going out. They're talking to Beckham. They're talking to Ben Jones. They're talking to Clayus Campbell tomorrow. They went out and signed Lazard. They're, they're going to try to make every splash move they can when they also have very good playmakers already on the team and Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson, C.J. Mosley, Quinn and Williams. It's like put up or shut up time. And I'm glad Woody Johnson finally put it out there in the in the environment. So uh, we'll see what happens. Again, a lot of this is all actions, not words, right? Like it's he's putting his money where his mouth is. The team as a, as a whole did that by being this aggressive and being adamant they want Aaron Rodgers. So I give him all the credit in the world for getting this done. And once you get him in the mix, it's built around him, and they're doing that as well. So actions, not words. For the first time in a long time, the Jets are actually doing it with finances and everything else. And uh, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait till this deal is finally done. I'm tired of talking about leverage. I'm tired of talking about draft compensation. Just get them in the mix and we can all move forward. Talk to you later.